A signal conditioner takes an analog signal from a process sensor and converts it into a signal that is compatible with process monitoring and control devices. It's one of the most important components to any sensing system. Given the variance in signal strength and signal types from one analog sensor to another, without optimizing these signals, you cannot rely on the accuracy of your sensor's measurements. Here are some examples of different types of signal conditioning. Isolation helps to protect sensitive equipment from potential hazards that may come through the signal path from the sensor. The isolator can also filter out any unwanted noise along the signal path and eliminate any electrostatic interference caused by ground loops, which can also damage any devices that are connected to the sensor. Amplification increases the input signal strength or amplitude. With low voltage output sensors such as thermocouples and strain gauges, amplification can increase the resolution of the measurement. Linearization is necessary when sensors produce signals that are not linearly aligned to the physical measurement. This condition is common for thermocouple signals. Not all of the signal frequency spectrum contains valid data. In fact, some frequencies, like those found in 50 to 60 Hz AC power lines, can cause unwanted noise in the signal. That's where filtering is used to eliminate those unwanted frequencies for a clean and consistent signal. Excitation voltage is required for the operation of an active sensor such as a thermistor, RTD, or a pressure sensor. The stability and accuracy of the excitation signal directly affects the stability and accuracy of the sensor. So when you're specking out a process measurement system, be sure not to overlook the importance of signal conditioning. Still have questions? We have answers. Call or chat online at omega.com and be sure to like and subscribe.